everyone. My name's Janine Doyle. I'm a Creative Memories Advisor in Victoria, Australia. I'd like to show you today the double page spread I made with the Spring Cottage Collection and especially this little border I've made. I've made it with the Climbing Vine Border Maker cartridge in our Border Maker system. Now you can see that this little border it's just got a little dimension to it. To make this border, you'll need, for each of the borders, you need to cut out two 12 inch lengths of our climbing vine chain. Now I chose this paper out of the Spring Cottage collection it's got like a wood grain on one side and green on the other. And that made it easy to make these little vines. So what I've done is I've punched one with the border maker system with the green up. And then the next one I flipped it over so that the brown side is up. That way you get two strips and they're actually mirror images of each other. You'll see with this border chain that it's not exactly the same. There's two different size leaves and it stops and finishes in different places. You'll see that the end here is different to the end here. That's why we want two mirror images like this we can use. So what we're going to do is use our scissors and we're doing, going to do a little bit of trimming. I'm just going to turn this magnifier on a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I've already started but where the tip of the leaf joins onto the vine I've trimmed it off and then I'm just going to trim the leaf into a nice little point. So again I've trimmed it off and I'm going to trim the leaf into a little point. Down here further I'll show you just cut trim the leaf off from where it's attached and trim it into a nice little point. Now this side of the vine is different again. The leaves are a little bit bigger. So we're just going to do the same. A little trim and trim the point. So again, this one here, just going to keep it trimmed and trim the point. So what we're going to get then is all the leaves separated from the vine and into a nice little shape. Once we do that, we're actually going to flip it over and see the wood. We're going to bend the leaves back. So we've got wood with leaves on. Just like that. With the second piece, we're going to trim all the leaves off just by cutting. I find it easy just to cut all the ones this way. Just round it off. And then come around and do the ones this way. So what we've got in the end is a nice swirly piece. Now these leaves we're going to use as embellishments. You can see they've got some sharp edges on them. So we're just going to round them out, round out the base, just make the tip. So then it's a nice little leaf, ready for our embellishments. 
So when we've trimmed both of those, as I've just shown you, this is what we'll end up with. We'll end up with leaves that are folded back and one little windy little bit of vine. And what we'll be able to do is overlap them so we get a border. Now what I've done is I've actually put some little bits of foam square on the back here. To get the little bits of foam square, I find the easiest thing to do is take my scissors and cut through the little foam squares. Then you have the little pieces. You can take them off, put them on the back of the leaf, and then when you're ready, take the backing off. So let's stick the little vine in place. We're going to use some of this repositional tape. We're just going to center it. You can use the grid lines on your 13 inch mat. To find about center. Now nature isn't perfect, it isn't straight, so we don't need to worry about this being perfect and straight. So you can see then I've just stuck it on. Now we're going to add a little bit of repositional tape runner to this part of the border too. What we're looking for here is just to make the little circles sort of even just so it looks appealing to the eye but again they don't have to be perfect now I'm not going to fuss any more than that with it then what I can do is just Take back the backing of the little foam squares I put on each of these leaves and just stick them down. So what you can see is that gives it just a little bit of elevation. The leaves will fall where they want to. Missed a little bit of paper backing. So there we've got our little vines ready. Now just to finish the border off, I thought I'd use some little stickers in the little circles here. So this is our um, border stickers from our Spring Cottage collection. And you can see there's a little fence here. It's a beautiful little sticker. But I like the little bits of, we call it sticker rubbish. <laughs> the little bits in between. They're a little bit printed. But you'd usually leave them behind. But what I've done is just pop them in like little jewels. Just in every second one. Just quickly. And it just finishes off the little border. So 
So that's how easy it is to make a little border with a little bit of um, an edge to it. Pull that little bit of tape you can rub off. Hope you have fun. Thank you. Bye.